there guys and welcome back with another video and another new what if i'm gonna one day run out of these <laughs> just kidding i'll never run out anyways before we start of course don't forget to like comment subscribe i should probably tell you today but the what if first though but you can already see the title card in the thumbnail if you, if you click on this <laughs> or tap or do whatever you do to get on videos and of course it's what if deku had god speed and for those of you who are the unknowing of the one of the greatest anime and manga of all well greatest anime i haven't really heard about is manga hunter x hunter god speed is basically the nana also not nit technically it is the nana ability that kilawa came up with as you can see kilawa zoltic my favorite character personally <laughs> Well, since Nan doesn't exist in the universe, um, this is just the ability without the Nan. So basically, let me tell you what the ability basically does. For obviously, um, as you can see, gives you a power of lightning, but he has never been shown to use it long range. So um, that will probably not be uncovered unless I feel like it. Also, um, it increases your reaction time and speed. Um, kind of obvious. Maybe even, and probably makes you move at the speed of light since you are kind of float by lightning. <laughs> also, another thing to explain, um, I think I've explained everything I really need to, so on to other things. Um, okay, basically how this quirk works. Oh, yeah, drawbacks. Um, well, take a bit like Deku as a battery. <laughs> Once he runs, once he uses Quirk for a long time, he eventually runs out of energy and will just revert, well, back to normal. So he keeps a taser on him and charges himself up. That's what Kilo did in anime. To, uh, <laughs> this is going to be fun, all right? <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like. I already said that. <laughs> Also, hope you enjoy. Anyways, let's get started because I've been ranting on two minutes about this. I like to get into the good stuff. Of course, the obvious changes. Um, Deku is a bully by Bakugo. Um, Deku doesn't have his hopes and dreams crush. Probably is more excited when he get a quirk as a little kid. Um, and of course, um. Uh, I hate saying this all the time, so they go back to our rivals as much as they are in canon. Um, anything else I miss? Um, just changes <laughs> for the obvious. Um, basically, beginning um, Deku is the laugh at once. He raises his hand to go to UA and actually raises up more confidently. Um, Bakugo does not threaten him nor blow up his notebook, so um, that's always great. Um, and he is neither told to kill himself. Anyways, continuing on. <laughs> anyway, Deku is still surprised attacked by the sludge villain, although when he's being suffocated, that he does activate his quirk and would shock the villain, which will enable him to get out of there. As like in can as like in canon, All Might would appear and would give him Was it Texas or California? <laughs> It was one of the two. It was either Texas or the California Smash. And still, well, turned the sludge villain into what he did as in canon. Oops. <laughs> of course, Deku still launches onto All Might, gives the same question as in canon. Well, the difference is, um, something probably like, do you think I keep coming here with a quirk like mine, or do you think my quirk is good enough to become a hero? Probably something on the lines of that. I'm not the best at coming up with dialogue. Of course, All Might would um, encourage that coup instead of crushing his dreams and unfortunately crushing his dreams, which I think was not the best. Okay, it was the best decision in can. Let's all be honest here. Of course, since Deku still latches on, the slow drilling does still fall as in canon. And, but good news, Deku leaves much happier in this timeline. Continuing on. <laughs> Of course, Deku does still see Bakugo and would activate his quirk and, well, run past all the heroes and civilians and would, um, and would go for the sludge villain. As Deku would put out his taser saying sorry to Bakugo and supercharge the thing and would shock both Bakugo and the villain. Why not use it normally? It could 
you may ask, because I am the writer and I love doing fun stuff. Of course, he does eventually pull, um, he does pull out Bakugo from the stunt villain and does get him out of there. From here, thank you, things continue to proceed on as in canon. Only difference is being, um, Bakugo is a uh, nicer when not thanking Daku. <laughs> Um, he is a walk home ass sad. Well, he wouldn't walk home sad at all and probably just feels normal. And from here, things continue on as in canon. Of course, Deku still, uh, why do I have to say canon so much if I'm just going to say that what's going to happen as in canon? Um, Deku still g gets offered one for all. I don't see, really see him rejecting it. So, continuing on. All right, training for one for all. Um, think with Deku's quirk, he would be able to get it done faster. <laughs> Lightning speed, in theory. <laughs> yeah, but um, all my could instruct him not to use his quirk, so we'll give him about um, he completes it a month earlier. Sound great, great. Which means he actually does have time to you know, get used to the quirk. And I think he would, um, in this scenario, get full counting much earlier, trying to use, trying to use one fall in the same way he would use his own quirk. Anyways, without that, with all that out of the way, time to get into more fun stuff, the action parts. So we gotta get into more of the boring stuff. <laughs> of course, on the day, um, uh, when that day to the interest is in, right, a few changes, Deku is not threatened by Bakugo, um, does not trip over a rock in nervousness, and um, from here things continue on as in canon. Differences being Deku is able to get points in this timeline, but he steals that bot from Ioma. Thought I should mention that. <laughs> and is he way even able to gain points at a rapid rate with his speed? So continuing on. Of course, Deku still needs to. Of course, the zero point still arrives, and Deku does still go to save Uraraka as in canon. That does not change. <laughs> as to add an extra bit of power to his attack, he <laughs> okay, best part, he grabs a energy drink, and it powers up his quirk. <laughs> best thing I've read in. <laughs> I do not digress. He grabs the energy drink to power up his curse, which gives him a massive boost in power. <laughs> and does jump up high to the villain's head instead of just causing that small and little itsy bitty hole. He completely takes the villain's bot's head off. The zero point's head off. Completely obliterates it. <laughs> Anyways, continuing on. Of course, from here, things continue on as in canon. Deku does still indeed, uh, um, it's more, you know, confident that he could get into UA seeing as he was able to get points. And still does grant him his 60 for saving Uraraka. Hope you enjoyed. And, of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in the next part of What If Deku Had Godspeed. And please comment. I'm lonely. <laughs>